In the Bible, they're mentioned. In the first few pages of the Bible, it's mentioned the Assyrians. And in Genesis, chapter 10, it mentions that Nimrod, the Assyrian, went forth and to build Nimrod, to build the city. Those people, if you, you know, don't um, um, take care of them, they'll just destroy more and more. Today is uh, in, in Middle East, tomorrow's going to be in Europe, next day is going to be in the United States, and God knows where else. So these persecutions went on for many years. For example, this year was the hundredth year of what's called the Seifu. Seifu means the sort, the year of the sort. In that genocide, there were more than 500,000 Assyrians that they were killed. So this was this is 100 years ago. And the same thing happens now. So the history repeats itself. Now the legislation that has been introduced is legislation that calls what is happening in the Middle East a genocide. A genocide, because the oldest of the Christian communities are really being wiped out. And there are so many other religious uh, uh, people of religious backgrounds that are, uh, are going with them too. I think in the United States of America, the greatest, most powerful country on the face of this earth. That future generations and historians will not judge us well if we don't answer this call. Our numbers have dwindled, and uh, obviously we don't have a country anymore, and we need to maintain our culture for generations to come by living closer together. So if there is any refugee measurements put in place, we need these measurements to consider it for these communities to move together in different areas, to be able to establish colonies so they can preserve their, their culture. But at the same time, I strongly believe that Middle East should not be left without Christians. Although it is not safe for Christians to live there, but it should not be left without Christians.